What we're looking to do is to, to represent how much life you can find in this spot over the course of a normal day and a night. We put it very near the shore. Uh, it's six inches in the water, six inches out of the water. So we get the air and it's got, there's branches into it. So we get uh, terrestrial things that they crawl about. So we're at that, we, at that interface, that meeting of two different habitat types. We start by just watching. We put these time-lapse cameras on it. We collect insects as they fly through the cube, um, or we get one just like it. We got leeches, we got amphipods. We, we remove things, but you can see, I mean, I was just seeing the stuff at the surface. We take it back here to the zoo. We're gonna spread it out in trays, and then we photograph it. And Chris Meyer is here from the Smithsonian to do the barcoding and the vouchering uh, of the specimens to, to make a permanent record of the diversity that we found. We take a, a small piece of tissue, because all, all tissues will have a little bit of DNA in it, and then we'll take that DNA and take it back to the labs. Every species, every different kind of creature has, has a story. And, and David does a great job of, of bringing out their personalities. I'm interested in sharing what was there. And now, since I've seen it, I'm very enthusiastic about the diversity of life in the Genesee River.